You're watching WSBT First at Four. Nearly one of every 100 babies is born with a congenital heart condition. A Granger family recently lost their baby boy to a rare heart defect. Well, they want to raise awareness by sharing their story. WSBT 22's Darla Hernandez has more in Moms First. For many who have lost a loved one, the Christmas season can be very tough because you're reminded that they're no longer here. But for the Wedham family, they have turned their tragic circumstances into a campaign of awareness and hope. I'm struggling. I have my good moments and my bad moments. Kevin and Amber Wedham had been trying for a child. Things weren't going as planned, and we were talking about adoption and things like that, and then we, it was a surprise that we were pregnant. The Wedhams say they were beyond thrilled about this pregnancy until a routine ultrasound showed the baby would be born with hypoplastic left heart. There's supposed to be four chambers of the heart, and Andrew only had two. He had half a heart. The other half of his heart did not develop as it was supposed to. Andrew was born August 25th, but he would never leave Riley Children's Hospital. Doctors found he had another heart condition that would complicate his health even more. Fear? <laughs> yeah, terrified, absolutely terrified. But I, I did a lot of research right away. For months, Amber lived at Riley Hospital until November 10th when baby Andrew passed away. Every morning I wake up, I hope that it's just a bad dream. But soon I have to come to grips that unfortunately it's not. Their most precious gift was gone. Now that I'm home, I have no baby and I have no job and I have, you know, no, like, the responsibilities that I expected to have. I no longer have that. The Wedhams turned tragedy into triumph, raising funds for research and awareness through local benefits. So I want awareness about uh, congenital heart defects because there's not a lot unknown about them. And I guess secondly, I just want people to know that uh, how big of a fighter and how strong Andrew was to make it as long as he did given his situation. He was an amazing little boy. The Wedham family has a Facebook page that they have set up, and they also are putting together a team, Andrew's Memory, for the Congenital Heart Walk coming up in May. For more information on both of these events, you can log on to our website at WSVT.com. In the studio with Moms First, I'm Darla Hernandez for WSVT 22 News.